Now, NBC5 first warning weather, the area's certified most accurate forecast. All right, 1216 on this Tuesday afternoon. Bring on the warmth and bring on the sunshine, Andrew. I know it's feeling like spring. Believe it or not, I checked the calendar. It is still February. Can you believe it? But it does not feel like no. it. it feels like April. We have 50s and some low 60s this afternoon. It's uh, definitely unseasonable in terms of that warmth. Uh, a lot of record high temperatures likely to be broken this afternoon as well. Here's the live view from Heroes Welcome General Store in North Hero. You can see the flags they are blowing from right to left. That means there's a gusty breeze out of the south. Notice a lot of sunshine as well, but a little hazy look to the sky. That's actually because we have some wildfire smoke drifting overhead in the upper levels of the atmosphere. Not causing, though, any issues with air quality, but that temperature 55 degrees right now and that wind is sustained out of the southwest at 20 miles per hour there in North Hero. So we have lots of mid and upper 50s on the map right now. 57 in Saranac Lake, very close to 60 in both Burlington and Middlebury, even a 62 for Bennington right now. A little bit cooler along and east of the Green Mountains, but still in the upper 40s in a lot of cases. Check out our wind gusts right now, especially in the Champlain Valley, some gusts 20 to 30 miles per hour or a little bit higher than that. So certainly a breezy feel out there. Storm Tracker though has a quiet scan, mostly sunny skies all across our region. There is some active weather, though, off to our south and west. Some downpours and thunderstorms towards Pittsburgh and Toronto. I think especially close to there and off to the west towards Chicago and Detroit will light up with perhaps some strong to severe storms moving ahead this afternoon. All areas with color, especially that yellow and orange shading, has a shot at severe weather this afternoon. There's even a risk for a couple of tornadoes towards Chicago and Indianapolis. So some active weather out that way, but meanwhile here local Locally, plenty of sunshine to enjoy the rest of the, this afternoon, just perhaps a few clouds drifting on by. As we head into tonight, though, clouds do thicken up, and we are expecting some rain showers through the overnight. Even some uh, pockets of rain, maybe a few embedded downpours through the morning hours tomorrow. It looks like right around lunchtime and early afternoon is our driest window, and if we get a few peaks of sun, we could easily pop up to around 60 degrees or a little higher than that yet again. But as we head into tomorrow evening, there's this sharp cold front that makes an approach. So some rain breaking out towards northern New York and into the Champlain Valley. And then colder air quickly comes in on the backside. So there may be a brief flip over to some wet snow late tomorrow evening. But all of this blows out of here heading into Thursday. We just have sun mixing with clouds, but it will be a lot colder. Highs only in the low and mid 20s and there will be an active breeze out of the northwest. Checking in on the wind, though, here's a look at tomorrow. The wind will be active out of the south. There could be some gusts 40 to 50 miles per hour late tomorrow morning and into the afternoon. And then as we head into the evening, see this wind shift here? There could be some gusts over 50 miles per hour as the wind shifts out of the northwest and colder air surges in. And then it will stay breezy continuing into Thursday. So here's a look at the five-day forecast. Record warmth likely this afternoon sun mixing with clouds, temps in the low 60s. Tomorrow we have some showers in the morning, some rain and snow during the evening, our driest window during the afternoon. And then Thursday, there may be a few icy spots due to that flash freeze. Sun mixing with clouds, temps in the 20s, but check out Friday and into the weekend, a nice temperature rebound back into the 50s on Saturday and Sunday. Sarah Beth.